today I have for you a very special video. A book haul! I'm so excited. There isn't much to explain about what this is, so we're just gonna hop right into it with the first book here. And I have Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. This is from the same author who wrote Hannibal and Silence of the Lambs. And this book is the very first time that we meet Dr. Hannibal Lecter as a character. And I'm a big fan of the movies. I have never read the books, so I just decided that I should start collecting them now. And I'm very excited to get into this series. The next book I have here is The Baby Name Wizard by Laura Wattenberg. This book is such a great resource to find baby names, baby names that are similar to each other, and baby names that fit in certain time eras and different things like that, and so this is a great resource. Here I have Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. This is a, a book about a girl named Lynn who lives in a world where water is almost non-existent. She herself has a pond and she has to protect it and make sure that she can keep the water for herself to keep herself alive and one night she sees smoke in the distance and hears gunfire and there are footprints by her pond and she realizes that she has what they want and that she may not make it out alive and I just thought the premise of this book sounded so interesting and the fact that we live in a world now where water is sparse and sometimes non-existent really kind of makes it real and makes it very impactful and I'm excited to crack open this book and see what it's all about. The next book I have here is Lux Beginnings Bind Up by Jennifer L. Armentrout which includes the first and second books Obsidian and Onyx. This is about a girl whose next door neighbor she finds infuriating, arrogant, annoying, and she even says stab worthy. And one day she is attacked by a stranger and Damon, who is her neighbor, uh, freezes time and she finds out that he is an alien and he has all of these enemies in the sky and now she is involved. And I've heard nothing but really good things about this. Um, the only negatives I've heard is that people don't like to bind up, but I really have no problem with it. And it was from Book Outlet, and so it was cheap. And it sounds really pretty interesting, and I am very excited to crack open this book and get into it. And also, side note, look at this fluff. Every book should have this kind of fluff. If you're a paperback, have this fluff taken. Here I have The Fury by Alexander Gordon Smith, and I actually started reading this book in November, but uh, I had to turn it, return it before I had time to finish it, and then school got crazy and out of hand, and so I never had another chance to pick this up. Then I saw it for $2.49 on Book Outlet for a hard back, and so I just, I had to get it. Um, and this book is about a small group of people who are living in a world that has completely turned against them. Everybody is just filled with this fury, this rage to just kill them and it is just, it's about their journey trying to survive in this world that has just completely fallen apart and turned against them. And what I read of it, I read over half of it and I really, really, really enjoyed it. It's terrifying and interesting and just, it's awesome. I. I honestly would recommend it even having only read half of it. It was very, very good. The last book I have here is TikTok Books Vincent Van Gogh Edition. This book I saw on Book Outlet for $1.99 and whenever I bought it I actually expected it to be more of like a 5x7 wallet size book but as you can tell it's it's pretty big. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. Um, this book is filled with Van Gogh's work as well as work that inspired him and it's just so interesting to get insight into Vincent's life in such a um, beautiful illustrative way and if you're not as into Van Gogh as I am then there are other artists as well that you can check out and if you're into the into art I definitely suggest getting these books because they're very very beautiful I want to thank you so much for watching my video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up 
and if you haven't subscribed, please do that. And um, also, I want to mention that I made a new introduction, and if you liked it, please tell me if you think that I should change it in any way, give me insight, and I would definitely try to fix it and make it better. It was the first time I tried making anything like that, so uh, other people had channel introductions, so I thought that I would do the same. Um, but just, yeah, once again, thank you for watching my video. I think that that's all from me, so until next time, stay golden and God bless.